Good afternoon, hello, welcome to the Triathlon on YouTube channel and welcome to another day of Triathlon training. I'm sorry if it's windy, it's because it's windy. I've got a mic more thing on this camera so hopefully it's okay but apologies if not. So you join me on lunchtime run, stats on screen somewhere. I'm about four and a half miles in, probably five when I finish. I feel alright to be honest, decent session on the bike last night and that does take a little bit but nothing, nothing on the plan really for running wise just to technique run so I don't know what that means I do know what it means thinking about you know shoulders back knees up all that jazz <clears throat> I have noticed as well that my my steady run pace is about 20 25 seconds a mile faster than it was about six weeks ago which is really good really happy with that and I think it sometimes takes a while for you to see running benefits so I'm not saying I'm where I want to be by any means now but it's motivating to see improvements isn't it so Hopefully your training's going well as well. well anyway, uh, get this done, shower lunch. I'll see you tonight for a bike or a session. An easy spin really, but I'll talk to you about that there. And I think Liz is joining me as well. See you later. Good evening, hello, bike session time. I keep calling it a session, but I don't think it is actually a session. It's just a, it's just a ride and it's mostly easy to be honest, but let's have a look at it. So um, the session's only about 48 or 50 minutes long, but I'll probably round up to an hour. Uh, nice warm up zone two, and then there's a two minute uh, block at sweet spot, and then another five minutes, and then two minute block at like mid sweet spot. Another five, six minutes, and then a two minute block at tempo. Basically a bigger zone two block. Basically the little interval step down. All it is is as there you go, predominantly recovery ride, not a full on recovery, just a the blah blah. Basically, just a little few efforts, just to make it a little bit more than a recovery ride, but not. Uh, overly hard at all the training stress score points are 34 so that's not hard at all um, i'm feeling not tired but i can feel the last few days training in my legs um pr probably the run sort of dragging on fatigue wise but you can't always be like oh i'm tired so i'm gonna rest i'm gonna miss the session tonight at some point you have to start pushing the envelope training when you're tired you probably know exactly what i'm talking about you can feel the fatigue but you don't feel really stiff and sore like you know you're not really at risk of injuring yourself and that's basically what i'm doing now i think uh, those that know what i'm talking about I call it progressive overload or something like that so two or three weeks ago i would have rested tonight whereas now I need to start easing in that training when I'm tired and building that volume up. So to talk about volume, last week I did 10 and a bit hours of training, over 10 and a half hours of training. This week I'm on for about 13 or 14 hours and I hope to sit around there ongoing. I do try and get up to sort of 16 or 18 as we get into spring and I can ride out on the roads a bit more. But while I'm mostly indoors and it's so efficient training time wise, I don't need to be doing a huge amount. Um, we have all had the news, I'm just going to close this door actually I think because look at this, it's actually raining inside the garage, so uh, BRB. Thanks Liz for the mop. Oops, that wasn't good. Yes, so this evening uh, in England we have had the notification that we are going to plan B for the dreaded C word. What that means is, uh, I don't really know everything to be honest, I listen to some of it because some of it is about masks and COVID passes and all that jazz, and uh, some of it is about working from home if you can. So firstly, hope you guys and girls are all alright, hope it doesn't affect your lives in a negative way. Uh, for myself, it will mean that I'm working from home immediately. I believe I'm going in tomorrow for a couple of meetings, but other than that, I'll then be bringing everything home and working from home. Um, I've only got a week left at work for the Christmas break up anyway, so it's not really a huge difference, but it'll probably go on into January. But what I'm thinking is, Back in 2020, when all this came in the first time, this is this, when the work from home came in, that was the beginning of the end for me, or the beginning of the end then. Um, that's when I let myself go. I feel like I've got white bits on my lips. No, safe. That's when I started letting myself go, not being as strict with the training, having bad habits food-wise. Not this time. This time it's going to be the making of me. I'm going to really focus on those good habits. I'm going to use the additional time that I'm going to have because I've not got a commute. And I'm going to really, really make this. Come on. And I hope you guys and girls do as well. Let's make this productive. Make it, you probably did it right the first time around, but make it, you know, good and useful. So that's the plan. Um, in terms of training volume, I did about 10. I've already talked about this in this clip or not. I can't remember. Maybe I already have. I think I already have. Yeah, I'll skip that bit then. Anyway, so yeah, that's going to be the plan. Let's go. Uh, let's get on the bike, do a little bit, bit of pedaling and yeah, go from there. Whew, okay, ride done and dusted. By the way, I do this on screen because post-edit, like post-production is actually putting this video together. It's a lot easier and I don't have to do much. So doing this sort of thing really helps me out time-wise because it's quarter past nine at night. I'm going to go and have a shower 
have a little snack, and then I need to put this video together, so it taking 15 minutes is a lot better than it taking an hour. Anyway, uh, then an hour, um, 236 watts normalized power, average heart rate 126 beats a minute. I did all the little, you know, the little intervals, absolutely fine. If I'm honest, I felt really strong, but it's easy to say that on an easy session, isn't it? What I'm currently just doing though, uh, I'll give you a quick flick of it, I'm not gonna show you too close. Um, the little pile of snot that I uh, created down there, the snot rockets, there's some, well, what looks to be like red in it, it looks like my nose has been bleeding. I haven't got any blood on my hands when I'm touching it, but the more I look at it, I can definitely see red in it. So I'm trying to work out, is it the reflection from my base layer, or is it actually blood? But either way, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna mop it up and pretend like nothing's happened, because sometimes you, you don't wanna know what's going off in your body, do you? So, uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes the next few days. Anyway, um, I feel like I haven't showed Liz for a few days. She's still here, I think. She's still in the house somewhere. Her training has not been going amazingly, if I'm honest, recently. I'll get her on in the next couple of days to talk about it, but I think she, you know, dead focused on Christmas and been shopping and in the tree up and all that sort of stuff, but whatever. Anyway, um, I'm really looking forward to stepping the training up over the next week or so, so hang fire for that. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please do hit the subscribe button down below. We're in for a big winter. Hopefully you're gonna have one too. And I will see you tomorrow at 4 p.m. for, again, I don't really know what, but uh, well, I do, it's sort of my training picks, but I'll cover it tomorrow. See you then.